Have you ever imagined having a sales rep that works 24 seven, never takes breaks and never misses a lead? Well, I just made that dream a reality. And the crazy thing is that I gave it my own voice, I trained it on my own knowledge, and I built the entire thing without writing a single line of code. Wanna know how? Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Christian Peverelli, the co-founder at We Are No Code. Now, the reason why I wanted to build this is because I've been running events where I teach people how to launch their startups with no code and AI tools. So the main goal is to follow up with people who join these events with a call to see if we can answer any of their questions and also to let them know about the programs and coaching that we have in case they want help to launch their product. So I'll be training this AI to do outbound calls for me and I'll also be doing a tutorial of the three tools that I use to build this out. Now the first platform is called Synthflow and it's a platform to build AI agents. You can build them into chatbots, but you can also build them into voice agents. So for this, I'm gonna be building the voice agent that's gonna be able to interact with my customers. And I'm gonna be training it with information that I got from this old thing up here. Now the second tool that I'll be using is called Eleven Labs. Now this is a tool that's gonna to allow me to clone my voice. And maybe I'll even change some settings so I can speak in like British English. Hello sir, would you like to know a little bit more? I just lost half of my followers in the UK in just that one sentence. And the third tool that I'll be using is called Twilio. And it's a tool that's often used when you're building out apps and you want messaging functions within it. Okay Christian, thanks for all that information but now let's actually go and build okay so we're here in 11 labs now the first thing i'm going to do here is to just sign in so i'll be navigating here to the tab that says voice lab so as you can see here i've actually created one already but i'm going to be creating a new one just so i can run you through the process it's really pretty straightforward i'm going to be going for the instant voice cloning i'm going to call this me and then i'll put uh, ai at the end it's gonna ask me to upload a clip of my voice. It has to be 10 megabytes or less. So you would want to record yourself on a clear mic and then upload it here. Then I'm gonna come down here. It's going to say a description, keep same energy. I'm not really gonna give it any instructions here. I'm just gonna tell it to pretty much clone my voice. And then you have to add the voice, excellent. So now this is going to create one that's called Christian Peverelli AI. And as you can see here, I have some first settings that I have on it. I'm just gonna go with the default. I inputted some text here of what I want it to actually say, right? So there's the voice settings here. I wouldn't change any of these settings really. And yeah, I think that this is really going to be able to provide a first example of my voice clone. So it's really as simple as that. I wanna now quickly go ahead and test it. What does this thing actually sound like? So I wrote a little text here and uh, if it works, if it's good enough, then I'm just gonna use this as the voice. So let's click on it here. Hey my friends, it's Christian from We're No Code. I'm here to remind you that it's never been a better time to launch your startup as a non-technical entrepreneur. Okay, so it sounds a little bit robotic as you can hear. So you're gonna want to test out different voice settings. And once you feel comfortable with what this sounds like, you can go back to the voice lab up here. And here you're gonna see the different voices you have. So each voice has a voice ID that we're gonna be using later. So that's 11 labs pretty much done. And now my friends, let's jump into Synthflow. Okay, so when you're in Synthflow like this, we're gonna go ahead and create an assistant. Then I'm gonna choose outbound batch. So that's because I want this specific agent to be doing outbound sales. But I'm first of all going to be actually configuring my assistant. So here are the settings. The first thing we wanna do is to configure. So we're gonna to want to give this a specific name. So here I'll call it Christian AI, agent role. Let's call it outbound sales, company name. We are no code. Then the company business, you're gonna to wanna to put in your company information here. You're gonna to wanna to put in the uh, company values and then you could put the conversation purpose. So here what we're gonna do is we're going to ask the lead if they have any questions about the event and to direct them towards our paid programs. Cause that's the main goal that we have here is to generate some sales. So I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna go to the next part, which is settings. Since this is a voice agent, we can either use a voice that they have or I can create custom. So to create custom, it's gonna first ask me to connect the API, which means to connect to the voice that I have inside of 11 labs. And the API is an API key that's gonna connect me. And then I put the voice ID in here. I'm gonna grab the voice ID from this. Boom, copy that. I'm gonna be putting it right here 
and pasting it and that should be connecting the voice. The language is American English. Then I'm just gonna keep this setting, which is outbound sales, right? I'm going to be keeping it a turbo temperature low. And then what is the custom greeting? What I'm actually gonna be switching this to is, hi, is this lead name? Henry, right? I think that's a good, easy one. Next, tools. So this is actually a setting that would allow us to be able to send SMSs. Now for this agent, I'm actually gonna be using the advanced configuration. So it's basically going to tell me how I can use this. And then here I can select a template B2B sales outreach. We're going to use this as the template. And then we can come here and we can adapt everything to our company. So I'll let you come in here and sort of adapt the script. For the most part, when you're doing outbound sales, there's going to be a number of objections from your customers. So here you can kind of train it on those and uh, there are gonna be certain rules as well. So I would come in here, adapt this as much as possible to your specific use case. What I'm gonna be doing is training it on doing what I mentioned, which is following up with people. Thanks for joining the event. You know, are there any questions that we can answer for you? Would you like some assistance in launching your business? And then if the answer to those things is yes, and if we're answering some questions for them, then we'll be able to start directing them towards some of the paid products that we have. And the main goal for me is gonna to be to have people apply to the program. So that's pretty much it. I'll let you do it for your own. You're gonna to want to apply this once you've finished. And again, here you can adapt all the um, information that is here. And once you've done this and adapted it, you can update here. So that's going to save the work that we've just done. Now, once we've done this and before we start feeding it leads or actually configuring more stuff, we want to start testing it out, right? So we're gonna to go to test here, my phone number, this is going to be through a connection with Twilio. So once we have created a phone number, it's going to appear in a drop down here. We're going to have to connect Twilio. And this is probably a good time to jump into Twilio. Now, I won't go too deep into Twilio, but what you have to do here is that you're going to create a phone number. You're going to add credit to your account, and then you're going to connect this account to your Synthflow. So let's jump back into Synthflow and I'm gonna show you how you can actually do that. And by the way, inside of Synthflow, as you can see here on the left-hand side, we have API keys. Now, as you can see, you can connect to your own LLM, you can connect to 11 Labs, you can connect to Twilio. These are kind of the three main ones. For Twilio, let me just uh, kind of show you what happens here. It's gonna ask you for an account SID that you're gonna be able to find below here in your main account, the SID and the auth token. And it's going to uh, find this. So this is basically the phone number that I have for Twilio. So it's gonna ask for that information here. I just have to input my SID. And once you have this done, you can save it. So this is going to essentially connect Twilio to your Synthflow. And make sure that inside Twilio, you have either connected a card or that you've charged. So let's jump straight back into the assistant. We're gonna go here, open it up. Now we're gonna be at the place at which we need to upload some of these specific files. So what do we wanna do here? We want to import the contacts. So what I recommend here is to go and download the example CSV, and that's gonna be really the format that we want to use to upload our leads correctly to this system so it doesn't mess up and get people's last names first or first names last. So as you can see from this table, this is the way they want you to format the information. I would just grab the phone numbers, put them in this column, usually just have the first name there, company name if you wanted, address. But honestly, I think that phone number and first name is just plenty. And once you filled out this lead CSV, what you're gonna do is go ahead and you're going to upload it. So it's import contacts right here, boom. And it's going to ask you to name this group and to upload the CSV right here. And the maximum number of leads that you can actually upload here is a thousand. And make sure that the file is only 10 megabytes. After you've done that, you can press import. Once you have existing groups, go and check out the existing groups here. Another pretty cool thing over here is that you soon will be able to connect this to HubSpot. So if you want to bring in information that you're learning 
from the actual leads that this agent is calling, you're gonna be able to bring that information into your CRM and enrich your CRM with the information you found out during the call. So it's not just about conversation, it's also about extracting data, and that's what makes this super interesting. Okay, so once we've configured this agent, your configure assistant, then what we're gonna to wanna to do is to go ahead and start a campaign. So I'm going to create a new campaign. I'm gonna give it a name. Here it'll be post event. Then once we've uploaded some leads, they're gonna be identified in the target group. So here I didn't upload my own leads, but you'll be able to select them here. Budget, let's put $10, then time zone. So for me, it's Pacific, I'm in Los Angeles, choose Pacific. Now select the date, so that, sorry, the time that we wanna call them at. So I would usually do something here like, okay, let's do like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and make sure to only upload the leads that you wanted to call within this time frame because you know you don't wanna call people in China at 5 a.m. You might get them a little upset. Add number. If you have already attached Twilio, your number will just show up here. You can select this one as the number that you're gonna be calling from. And then you can pretty much put launch campaign. Now the last tab is here, it's called logs and you're basically gonna be able to see the campaigns and you're gonna be able to check out the different campaigns, see who has interacted with your campaign, who it's called, who answered. You can even check out the conversations themselves inside of this log. So it's gonna be really valuable for you once you've actually run your campaign. Okay, I have an incoming call. Let's hear what it says. Hello? I'm Christian's AI assistant calling on his behalf to ask you for some feedback about the event. Yeah, sure. What's up? Hey, just wanted to check in and see what you thought of the event. Did it help you with your goal of building an app or launching a business? Yeah, it did. I'm actually trying to build a piece of software that can help me with launching a marketplace. Did the event give you some insights on how to go about it or do you have any questions or need support in reaching your goal? Yeah, I kind of don't know which no-code tool to use. Have you heard about our no-code accelerator program called the No-Code Startup? It includes personalized coaching, a private support channel, a full curriculum and plenty of discounts. Okay, so that was V1 that I built in about half an hour. What I would do next is actually to improve the voice clone because I noticed there was some issues there. And then the next thing I'd do is fine tune the script of what I want it to say. And by the way, if you're non-technical looking to build your tech startup with no code, then check out our free course below because it's gonna teach you just that. So now my friends, you have everything you need to build out your own sales rep. Now building this kind of sales rep can be really cool, but if you're at the early stages of launching your startup, you need to get started. And if you're not technical, you might have no idea which tools to use. And that's why I created this video that you should watch next where I tried more than 200 no-code tools and I'm just gonna give you which ones are the best. So it's really gonna avoid you from going through and testing out all these different things, wasting all of your time and money. Enjoy the video and see you soon. Let's go.